three. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new episode of Factorio. I'm Seagrain Hart. Okay, so what do I need for that? I need the basic electronic board. So it's going to be a while before I actually get that. Long while. Now, the Galena is actually and that right there is why I get both lead ore and sometimes we also get nickel as well. So because of that I can't just feed it into the furnace. Like I do with the other ores. Now, just as a heads up, this is just the layout. What I mean is I am just outlining where I want my walls to be. Once that is done and I have my walls up I will get a stone brick and remove this flooring. Maybe. Depends upon stone brick production that I have at the time. There you go again, once again. So the second thing that we need first I believe another one of four I believe it is No. No it's not that either. Actually, it is. Maybe I have everything. Hmm. Maybe I have everything. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do... That's right! Lamables. Flamethrower. That's right. That's what I was doing. I was doing... I mean, like, before, in the first three episodes, I was working towards getting... Just up to one hundred. Excuse me. Guess I don't know. Uh, huh. So what I need to do is I actually need to boost the production of stone. 
So that turn around and producing more So what the splitter does is it says, okay, half of it's going on one, and the other half is going on the other. No, I'm not going to do that. Not when it says six more than 600. I don't need more than 1,000 splitters. No, transport belts. Actually, maybe I do. The transport belts do I need? Oh, maybe transport belts do I need? Is there a particular reason why I'm just... No, no there's not. So, what we are going to do here is we're going to split the stone production. The stone production. Still on just tier one science. So let's about to do something that is going to at first confuse you. But then it will make perfect sense. Sure, there's enough room there. There's enough room. Okay, so let's go in. Let's go in. That goes there. Two. Splitter. I'm going make this splitter.
So yeah, we brought in all of this stone from all the way over here to all the way over there to make bricks. Okay, now that we've got the splitter. So now, as you will see, we've now also automated stone brick production. Yeah, no, hold up. Give me a moment. I need to pause the recording. Okay, we are back. Oh, well. I'm back, uh, I paused the recording, and now I'm unpausing the recording, and I had to step away from the computer for a bit, and sadly, couldn't wait, before I forget, play, let's play there, okay, so, what the next step would be, would be to go back, Okay, so yeah, it's by 100. So what are we going to do? We're going to leave that there. We're almost done with electronics. And we're still waiting on that thing to get here. And ah, called it. Okay, so now we can do logistics two, which enables us to make faster transport belts. And of course, there's express transport belts. And faster transport belts. Wait a minute. Fast transport belts. Then it's express transport belts. Then it's their transport belts, and then it's extremely fast transport belts, which is very far down the line because, as you can see, it requires science pack one, science pack two, science pack three, and science pack four, which isn't even in the base game. What was it that we were doing? Uh, oh, right. I'm gonna wait until... To do that, I'm gonna... To do the solar panels, I'm actually going to wait until there's... A, I can... Get accumulators. And what it is that accumulators do is they're kind of like the batteries in RimWorld where they accumulate energy and when you have an excess of energy being produced they absorb the excess energy up until a certain point which as you can see here the the max capacity is 5 megajoules so they can absorb up to five mega joules of energy, which I think equates to five megawatts. I think I'm I'm not an electrician, so don't quote me on it. But yeah, 
I'm going to wait to do the solar energy until I can get the accumulators up and running. So that means I need to research batteries. What do you need? What do I need? Okay, so it looks like batteries is pretty much the same to build. Oh no, no, they're not. Because this time they require lead plates, which lead plates are not in the base game, so... Oh dear. Yeah, see, these this stuff is not in the base game at all, so... So, it looks like the main thing that I actually need to do, which is ironic, needs sulfur processing. And then I need plastics. To get batteries. Okay. But, first, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get flamethrowers. Means and that. What was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Okay, so we're going over here for a specific reason. That specific reason is to make the to make these. And we're making these. Also, for a specific reason, that is up here. See, now there's. Now there is space for me to. Transport them bricks from where I'm producing it. There's an outside. To somewhere else. So yeah, what you're probably wondering is why I Oh no 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 no, I already answered. I already explained that. It's because I don't want to use that weird exploitive bug thing. Because you would think that if there was no more water, it wouldn't be able to work anymore. Okay, so what I need to do now is I'm going to take these. I'm going to take these. And then, I'm not going to do that. So yeah, the main thing that I am concerned about is the defense of my base. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be... So just for your heads up, I'm not going to be placing the wall here, I'm going to be placing it on the op opposing end. So like, this is the interior of my base. This is the exterior of my base. This will be the exterior of my base. I am placing, I'm going to be placing the walls on the exterior side of this line here. for this spot here. We can save this songs this spot because as you can see the water acts as a natural barrier. Which eventually I'm going to be replacing with a 
better artificial one. Really better. I mean, they, it's not like they can fill in water as well. Unless they can. Which I actually haven't have yet to see do. So that's not too much of a worry. So yeah, I'm just preemptively clearing the trees instead of worrying about clearing the trees when I am laying the wall. I'm clearing the trees now. Why would I wait? Right? There's no reason for me to wait. Just place it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just messing around. I know. Okay, no, no more messing around. Okay, there's another one side. Now for the fun part. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to have the northern entrance to my base. Um, should the first things first. How it is that I... No, that's the ball. Oh, is that I targeted that bowling boulder? But it's not bowling, it's boulder. Oh, I targeted the boulder. Is by when I. So, yeah, as you can see, one goes up, one goes over there, one goes over there, one goes over there, one goes over there. One goes on the right side, one goes on the left side. One goes on the right side, one goes on the left side. That's how scribbles work. As you can see in the description over on the right, it says, Splits incoming conveyor belts cargo, one to one. But, I'm actually going to show you a very interesting thing that... Once this is done being built, that... Now, I actually don't know if this still works or not. Because this was true in the previous version. I don't know if it's true in this version or not. So, as you can see, there's only going to be one output. So, as you can see, it's taking two inputs and turning it into one output. So it so splitters can act as splitters. They can also act as combiners. You know, dumb name, but it's true. They can combine things too. So now we're going to run all the way over here. Hmm. Um, see, stone wasn't actually getting over here. Okay, let's 
see if you want to do this if you want to make more transport belts. Okay, so those are only iron plates and iron gear wheels. So you know what we're actually going to do? Because, and this is useful very much early on, so as you noticed, I'm making a lot of these by hand. I can automate them, however. So before we do that, we can also automate the production of inserters as well. But that requires a future technology as it requires I think it requires automation three no automation two. It requires automation two. That's what it is. So what we're going to do is we're gonna come up here. We're going to go underground. Boom. So yeah, this is when things get tricky. Okay, so I'm gonna place it right around the there. So let's see. Two. So this. Not exactly sure why I did that, but oh well. So we're gonna go boom. Oh, that's why I did that. Boom, boom, boom. So now they have power. What this is going to produce is this is just gonna produce iron gear wheels. This is just going to produce iron gear wheels. And this is going to produce. Where is it? Wait a minute. Ah! Give me a little bit more time. This is just going to produce transport belts. So, what we need for this is two of these, three of these. And what this is going to do is, this is going to be the output. This is going to be the output. This is going to be an input. And you'll see why. Then, produce three of these. This is an input. This is an input. And this is an input. So now, as you can see, these long handed inserters are taking the iron gears and placing them on the further belt. And this one is taking the iron gear wheels. I'm putting it into the one that's making that. Now let's look at this. So we're still good on production of energy. So there's that. Okay. 
So I'm just going to finish this up. Actually, no, it just needs to go into a box. Yeah, it just needs to go into a box. Because I'm not transporting it anywhere yet. I don't need to transport it. So, this is going to automate production of Iron Gear wheels. And the reason why we not Iron Gear wheels, of the belts. So, I don't actually ever anymore have to do it by hand. I don't have to click on that ever again. Because, what I can do, is I can just come up here, and take them out. Now, once I get the... Where are they? Once I get these being produced... No, I can actually sit down produce it all myself. No, well, no, I can't produce it all myself, but what I mean is <sighs> I can produce it right now. I can because the three materials, the basic circuit, the basic electronic components, and the solder, those three things all take two items to produce. I can make the electronic circuit boards, the basic electronic boards, by hand. Once I get... Where is it? Automation 2. Hang on. Up to four ingredients, up to three ingredients. Huh. So it skips three? Interesting. That's six ingredients. I'm just assuming it's just a faster assembly machine 3 or something. Oh, let's see. Crafting speed 1.25. Crafting speed 2. Yeah, I'm thinking that's faster. It's just... They're just... Yeah, they're just... These are just... These are just faster. Okay, so... There's that. So... Before I get distracted, there's an hour-long episode again. Setting it back to that. Oh. Changing it from that. Because I don't have that production bucket. We're going to do bullet damage. And the reason, actually, no. We're going to do automation 2. And the reason why we're going to do automation 2 is because... We need the assembly machine too. So that's what we're gonna be doing. No, 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 no. Take care of it next episode. Timer went off. Take care of it next episode. Okay, so I reset the timer. Saving game. The game has been saved. Whew. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay. End of episode. This has been Factorio. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.